Hierarch Lutine first derived the means to sanctify the use of arcane machines of war, purifying profane artifices with fervent prayer and blessings. Successive accomplishments in battle are taken as a sign of Menoth's favour, for it seems the Creator smiles on their efforts. Often, choirs of Menoth march alongside the iron and steel giants to further empower them with holy chants and prayers. Sacred scrolls in hand, devout war priests lead the choirs onto the field of battle. These valiant faithful are chosen from amongst those deemed most likely to demonstrate the rare gift of connecting to and controlling warjacks in battle. The war priest directs a powerful, ancient canticle reinforcing the existing bonds between warjacks and their warcaster masters. The choir's prayers turn aside incoming projectiles, unravel enemy spells before they can reach their targets, and divinely guide warjack weapons to smite unbelievers. Requiring unassailable concentration and great effort to achieve, these perfect, meditative chants are the choir's sole purpose on the battlefield. The Choir of Menoth are simply one of the best support units in the game. There's a Min and a Max version. Min comes in at 4 points with a Leader and 3 Grunts, whereas Max, Leader and 5 Grunts. There's a Field Allowance of 3. The stats aren't really what you're taking this unit for, but with a speed of 6, strength of 4, mat of 4, rat of 4, defense of 12, armor 12 and a command range of 6, there's enough there to let them keep up with your warjacks. Each is armed with a battle staff with a range of 2, power 2, power plus strength of 6, just in case they get caught out. Now onto the real reason that you choose to take the Choir of Menoth. Their hymns, they have a range of 3 and target a friendly faction warjack. When a model in the unit performs the hymn special action, you choose a hymn. Each activation, all models in this unit performing a hymn must perform the same one. A warjack can be affected by only one hymn at a time, and this can be a reason why some players choose to take two min units so they can sing two different hymns on the same turn. The first is battle. The warjack gains plus two to damage rolls. Battle lasts for one turn. Passage. The Warjack cannot be targeted by non-magical range attacks, and Passage again lasts for one round. Finally, we have Shielding. The Warjack cannot be targeted by enemy spells. Shielding also lasts for one round. Now onto what Battle College says. The Choir of Menoth is the iconic support piece for the Menoth faction. While following their army's war machines closely, the Choir have a well-rounded utility belt of songs to sing for every occasion. Passage and shielding help keep the jacks healthy while they move up the table, and battle ramps up the damage for when they finally connect. Almost every Menoth army with a list of three or more jacks will be hard pressed to find reasons not to include them. For new players, the order of operations for the choir is often a source of confusion for new Menites. Basically, it boils down to 1. Activate the unit. Choose whether you're issuing a charge order, run order, or no order at all so that you can sing hymns instead. The hint is you should be singing. 2. All members now advance. 3. Choose one hymn. 4. All members now apply their hymn to a nearby warjack. Each member can apply the hymn to a different warjack, but it's the same hymn each time. And 5. If one or more of the choir don't have a warjack to sing at, they can alternatively make a normal melee attack. But you shouldn't really be in melee with this unit. The downsides are that they will die when something decides to kill them, and with the increased size of battle groups in Mark III, they're even more useful to the Manoth player, and subsequently even a higher priority target for your opponent. Finally, there's a small command bubble which can make it hard to him all the jacks you want every turn. As always, if you like this video, please subscribe, like, and do comment to let us know how you use the choir.